Let me take you guys back to the year 1993. You're chilling and watching Monday Night Raw. Everything's going fine until you're weird overly loud, annoying, deranged, and possibly racist uncle comes in and says, you know that pro wrestling's fake, right? There's this new thing called UFP, CFU, UFC. Real fighters, really fighting. Now normally you just nod know, your head until he leaves you alone, people, but your curiosity gets the better of you and you check it out. Oh my God. Did he just stomp him in the head? He did it again! Elbows to the back of the head. This is freaking crazy! Yes, this is brutal. These guys are showing signs of CTE nine years before it was even discovered. The only thing I want to see hit this hard is that like button, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, wait, don't do that! Over the years, the UFC would become more uniform. Rules were established. Fighters didn't show up in whatever the hell they wanted, and the refs actually stopped fights. In this attempt to become more mainstream, one thing would become available to them. Yes, that's right. Video games. UFC would eventually make a deal with Crave Entertainment. Who the fuck is I'm more familiar with the cereal. Anyway, these guys have a glorious track record of amazing games such as. Uh. This won't end well. Whatever. They would make Ultimate Fighting Championship on PS1, and it was alright. This game comes across more as a poor man's Tekken than it does an MMA game because of the health bars and the lack of any real MMA elements. No clinches, only a couple of ground positions, and fights last about as long as a skippable ad on a YouTube video. But it was only a PS1 game, and we have to give credit where it's due, especially in the presentation department. With the move to newer hardware, maybe we can get something a little bit better. You have see Tap Out is a game that comes across more as a poor man's Tekken than it does an MMA game, because, whoa, deja vu. It's pretty much the same damn game. Well, let's look at the follow-up, UFC Throwdown. Yep, same game again. There are some different modes here and the graphics are slightly improved along with some new moves, but these games are virtually identical. Throwdown? More like letdown, am I right? <laughs> Wait, please, no! Adding a health bar to these type of games take away that anything can happen aspect that combat sports have in real life. You can't just have acid because MMA has so many different details. You got jabs, hooks, uppercuts, elbows, knees, takedowns, guards, submissions. Two hours later. And my favorite, the banana split. Look at this. Oh, so when we jump from PS1 to PS2, players expected a little more. Crave Entertainment would eventually lose the license, and it would go to TDK Media Active. Who the fuck is that? Hopefully with a new publisher, things would get better. Their first game is UFC Tap Out 2. Now, this game comes across more as a poor man's Tekken than it does an MMA game because of the... Aw, oh, you son of a bitch! Yeah, it's the same game again. TDK Media Active would eventually be bought out by Take-Two Interactive, and the UFC license would then go to Global Star Software, another entity that's owned by Take-Two. When it comes to these publishers, man, it's a who's who of who are any of these guys. Who are you? So just take a guess at what this game is like. Come on, take a guess. Yep, the exact same game again. This is like Deathloop, but with MMA. The best thing about these games is that they have a blood-curdling scream. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sounds like his whole family was killed right before his eyes. <laughs> UFC president Dana White sought after a new publisher because in his very own words... Oh, the old, old ones suck. You know, they were bad. They were about as bad as you could get. Everything that you could do wrong with that video game, they did wrong. This led him to EA Sports. Makes sense, considering EA is most known for their sports games, and the Fight Night series is good, so they have experience with combat sports. However, Dana and the sport of MMA in general was laughed out of the building. This led to THQ stepping in and making a deal. They kinda have experience with combat sports with their wrestling games, so this should work. UFC Undisputed 2009 released in, uh, 2009, and...
It was the same thing from before. Nah, I'm just kidding. This is actually pretty great. While you can look at this from today's perspective and complain that all the fighters stand the same, you can only fight from orthodox and the submission system wants you to rapidly tap buttons and twirl the right analog stick around. But I think that's missing the point. For the first time, we've never seen anything like this. Not only is striking represented, you have a clinch and a ground game with many different positions you'd find in real MMA. This was the first game to get the intricacies of the sport as opposed to, yeah, let's just have them scoot around and punch each other, I guess. Different fighter types were also introduced, so that means if you're fighting with a jujitsu guy as opposed to a boxer, it's not going to feel exactly the same. UFC Undisputed reviewed very well, and we can all say with certainty that this was the first good MMA game. The UFC itself was starting to grow more in popularity with the Ultimate Fighter series and the arrival of Brock Lesnar. Our old friends at EA noticed this and seemingly backtracked from the whole MMA is not a real sport stance because they would start to develop their own game, EA Sports MMA, a game that utilizes legend fighters and fighters from other promotions. Dana White, who is still furious at EA, would come out and say that anyone who would be a part of EA Sports MMA would practically be blacklisted from the company. I don't think there's any challenges going head to head with EA. EA is the me too. They're the, you know, Johnny come lately. We talked to EA Sports and you know what EA Sports said? It's not a real sport. Those aren't real athletes and we'd never make a video game out of that. So like a typical goofball company, you know, this one comes out and, and, and does very well. And they're like, oh, okay, me too. Now it's a sport. Now it's a sport. These guys are real athletes because we want to make some money off it. EA sucks. This turned out to be not true considering the UFC champion at the time, Randy Couture, was on the cover of the game. So that was a fucking lie. UFC Undisputed 2010 would come out and would make general improvements by adding an actual career mode that was good and adding more fighting styles. But overall, the game was not a giant leap from the last game. Still pretty good though. The next UFC game, UFC Undisputed 3, would have a two year wait this time around, and it would be worth it. Undisputed 3 is a complete game, from the career mode to gameplay to everything else. A standout main feature being the addition of Pride mode, which added Pride rules. Paid rules. Pride rules. Pride. <laughs> You're killing me over there, Braveheart. This essentially means you can have fights in a ring and treat your opponents like a seven-year-old treats a pile of ants. You look familiar to me. Were you in Stomp? This is considered the best MMA game of all time, and it's reviewed like it. While the UFC series was doing well, THQ themselves was doing pretty poorly. They made some kid drawing tablet thing that nobody bought. They abandoned their licensed kids games to focus on AAA titles but those AAA titles would eventually be panned and sell terribly. The writing was on the wall for THQ, and this leaves the UFC license in an awkward position. In a twist of fate so big you thought you were watching a Hardy Boys match, THQ would eventually sell the rights to the UFC license over to EA. So the company that Dana shitted on is now in charge of developing UFC games. Now that is Irony. I mean, look at how awkward Dana is during the announcement. And I can't say enough about what you guys have done for the sport of mixed martial arts. You have a world, Dana, we're thrilled to finally be working together. That makes two of us. In any case, this is the death of the Undisputed series, and it's pretty sad. The series never really got to improve on things like its online play, which was more unstable than a three-legged chair. EA Sports UFC. God, I hate that name, by the way. I mean, how often is the publisher themselves in the title of the game? Anyway, this would release in 2014, and the consensus is that this game has amazing graphics, but overall feels pretty barren, with fighters that are way too durable and a career mode that's practically non-existent. This seems like it was an early access game as opposed to a full release. This is supposedly one of those foundation games, which is a term that companies and fanboys alike use when an unfinished game is released. The second game would release two years later, and this one was loved by players, but a little mixed in terms of critical reception. I personally think the game is a little overrated, with the new Ultimate Team mode being not exciting because you unlock moves and stat boosts. The grappling is very motionless, and the knockouts all look extraordinarily silly. But this game is very popular, so let's see if EA could continue the streak of good games with UFC 3. 
UFC 3 cleans up a lot of the jank that was in UFC 2 and added new locomotion where fighters stand and move around very differently and fluidly. Slips and head movement have been added and a career mode that's not completely worthless. Despite critic reception being in the merely okay region, EA is starting to string together some good games. Once again, two years later, we would get UFC 4. Now, this game was announced on July 12th, 2020, but the release date was August 14th, which is only a month later. Has any game had such a short window between announcement and release before? I'm really curious. In any case, the massive jump between UFC 2 to UFC 3 would not be the same for UFC 3 to UFC 4. The main addition was two new arenas being the Backyard and the Kumite. Did you say Kumite? Uh huh, the Kumite. These arenas are pretty cool, but they don't really contribute to much outside of just play now matches. The new additions to gameplay are new clinches and ground and pound. Both of these additions mean well, but they both fall a little flat especially the ground game, which was heavily criticized for taking away simple things like elbow strikes, and the addition of these Fortnite-like emotes that fighters do before a fight. Kinda cringe. UFC 4 would review on par with the others in the series, but unlike 2 and 3, the fan reception would take a pretty big hit. And that's where we are right now. As of this recording, UFC 5 hasn't been announced yet, so I can't even speculate on it. EA's UFC games were fun, but just lacked a lot of what THQ games were offering. EA's games felt like you were fighting underwater at times. The grappling is really bad and it looks awkward, including punches that look like something you see out of professional wrestling, not an MMA game. Even the little things like refs not stopping fights, no draws for judges scoring, and not even any doctor stoppages. THQ was by no means perfect, but the fact that these newer EA games are behind so many aspects to a decade old series should never happen. And another thing to mention, since EA was working on the UFC series, they practically all but abandoned their Fight Night series, which also causes some tension between fans. And that's the UFC games in a nutshell. Mostly. There is a stupid Kinect fitness game that THQ made. You don't want to exercise cold muscles. 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 And some generic mobile games by EA. Overall, we went from games that can cure insomnia <laughs> to a really great series to an okay series. There have been other MMA games besides the UFC ones, like Supremacy MMA, Bellator MMA, and a Pride game? It was developed by THQ? Let's check this out. This game comes across more as a poor man's Tekken than it does an MMA game because of the health bar and... Wait, this is the same shit again! <laughs>